an explosion 600 times more powerful than all nukes on Earth. The Tsar Bomba was the largest man-made explosive ever detonated on Earth. It had an explosive yield equivalent to 50 million tons of TNT. When I read about the power of man-made weapons, I sometimes want to hide, trembling, in a bunker somewhere. How would you feel if I told you that there was a place in the United States that had an explosive yield nearly 20,000 times that of the Tsar Bomba for? And it's on schedule to explode at any moment now. Back in the 1960s Bob Christensen of the United States Geological Survey asked us one of the scariest questions we have ever been asked. Maybe something like all of Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs are definitely volcanoes, so where are the volcanoes? Christensen is lucky to live in a time where NASA is starting to take satellite photos from space so he can see what Yellowstone looks like from above. And what does it look like? One very large caldera. The entire 35 by 45 mile crater is a single supervolcano too. The last time it exploded, it was estimated to have generated nearly 900,000 megatons of ash that covered much of the US west of the Mississippi. I'm now trying to put that figure into perspective by saying it was nearly 20,000 times bigger than the Tsar Bomba, but let me try again. The combined nuclear arsenal of all the powers in the world is about one and a half thousand megatons. This explosion was nearly 600 times more powerful than any simultaneous nuclear explosion ever on Earth. Over the past 18 million years, this hotspot has experienced occasional explosions and intermittent slow lava flows. For the past 2 million years, it has experienced semi-regular super-eruptions every 600,000 years. The last eruption I should mention was the smallest of the three super-explosions, 630,000 years ago. We are too late for an eruption that will coat the US in ash, send us into a global winter, and flatten large parts of the Midwest. Now stop panicking there are some important things to remember that it all boils down to statistics. First, I said that this blast has a semi-regular schedule, but that's a huge oversimplification. Imagine rolling a six-sided die over and over again. How many times do you have to roll it before the number one appears? The answer is about six times, but you can either roll one the first time, or you may get a series of bad rolls and not get one until the 20th roll.